I'm going to talk you through the Heart Meridian as part of kinesiology. And the Heart Meridian is considered the king of organs. And this is because if the Heart Meridian is imbalanced, all the other meridians and organs will suffer as a consequence. And so it is seen as a very important, well, it's, it's at the heart of, of the body. So it is something that is important to keep in balance. So from an anatomy point of view, what does the heart do? The heart is a muscle that pumps blood throughout our circulatory system, and it carries oxygen and important nutrients around the body organs, which is what we need to be able to stay healthy and for our bodies to work properly. Now there is, when we look at this from a kinesiology perspective, there is only one muscle that is connected to the heart meridian, and that is the subscapularis. And that is the muscle underneath the shoulder blade, and it is one of the important four rotator cuff muscles. So it's involved in shoulder pain. Common imbalances in the heart meridian, we as kinesiologists, we cannot diagnose, we get very, very clear about what we offer compared to the, the medical model and we do not diagnose. So when we find an imbalance in the heart meridian, we don't talk about a weakness in the heart or a problem with the heart. We are talking about the quality of the heart meridian. This is an energetic route through the body. So when the meridian is out of balance, then we can really see that there is a disconnect in relationships and interactions with others and also with ourselves. Uh, the physical issues that we tend to see with a heart meridian imbalance, memory problems, high blood pressure, heart palpitations, insomnia or anxiety. And what we would recommend if we see this coming into our clinic is we do uh, recommend that clients go to a medical doctor to explore those symptoms because we can work with the imbalance of the heart meridian but we cannot um, uh, like I said we cannot diagnose or treat. So how do we balance the heart meridian using the bees? So the bees are the biochemical, the emotional, electrical and structural and one of the great things about being a kinesiologist is that we have this, this vast toolkit of being able to support the body in these four ways. So biochemically the big focus that we would be looking at in functional kinesiology is reducing stress because stress is part of the sympathetic nervous system and when someone is in high stress and they are constantly in this sympathetic nervous system response then the consequence of that is high blood pressure which affects the heart. So we would be looking at reducing stressors in the body and it's not just stress as in life stresses, we are also looking at body stresses such as food intolerances, smoking, drugs, um, our relationship with technology because uh, screen time does stimulate the sympathetic nervous system. And what we wanna do when we're reducing stress is encourage more parasympathetic nervous system um, triggers for the body. So we are looking at more relaxation techniques and less things like screen time. Reducing toxic chemicals such as cleaning products and toiletries, which are a stressor. They are known as endocrine disrupting chemicals and they are a stressor on the body. And we encourage our clients to deal with their emotional stress. So this is a big part of our training is looking at holding space, how to hold space for our clients so they are able to come into relationship with their emotions rather than avoiding them and then finding a way of being able to process those, those emotions, which can really, really help with um, overwhelm and stress. So muscle testing for supplements, like I said, the heart muscle is the subscapularis, which is this motion, uh, this muscle test, should I say. And then the following supplements we would be looking at for an imbalanced unlocking subscapularis would be adaptogenic herbs to balance the stress hormone endocrine response. Magnesium is also a great heart supporter there's some uh, there's a link on our blog to show the studies that show magnesium being such a heart uh, nourisher and uh, the um, enzyme coq10 which is again uh, one of the go-tos that we would be looking at when we find an imbalance in the heart meridian uh, emotional balancing 
The heart meridian belongs to the fire element. We work with the traditional Chinese medicine five element theory, and we teach this um, in our courses right from foundation level. And it is a, a wonderful way of being able to support the body in a truly holistic way, because it looks at everything from colors to seasons, to emotions, to organs, to symptoms, to it's a, it's a fascinating thing to explore. And so the heart meridian sits in the fire element to do with sadness and joy. And so we often see that those who have an imbalance in the heart meridian from an emotional perspective can often be harboring um, depression or sadness and are not able to connect with joy or they have an artificial joy. So important aspects of balancing this from an emotional perspective is examining the areas that are causing sadness and focusing on, on ways of being able to create joy in someone's life. Electrical balancing, the, um, the heart meridians time is in the morning through to early afternoon. And um, it's interesting to see that heart attacks are more common and often more serious in the mornings because of this this can be associated with the heart meridian and the heart meridian begins in the armpit and runs down the lower inner arm to the little finger so pit to pinky is is how i remembered it in my revision structural balancing uh this subscapularis muscle um underneath the shoulder blade it's one of the largest and most powerful muscles in that rotator cuff so a painful shoulder can be a signs of a heart meridian imbalance um, and difficulty doing actions involving um, swinging the arms such as things like tennis or swimming what we would recommend is to balance the heart meridian structurally is we work with neurolymphatic points and these are situated for the heart they are in the chest area so um, uh, around this this um, uh, cleavage area how does the heart fit into the triangle of hormonal health which is at the the core of functional kinesiology and the way we work the heart is often seen as a victim of a hormone imbalance. Like I said earlier, if there is high stress, high insulin, high blood sugars, an imbalance in sex hormones, then this will cause an additional pressure on circulation function because there will be a higher requirement for blood transport around the body. But also the sympathetic nervous system that I've, that I've spoken about, this constant pressure on the heart that the hormones telling the heart to quicken, when you've got that on repeat, that can be incredibly stressful for the heart. So we look, like to look at the heart meridian from a hormonal perspective to support it. So that is the heart meridian as part of kinesiology.